quite obviously, they have a lot. I think the thing we have to remember is that the culture of Silicon Valley has been about disruption for so long that people have forgotten that there are consequences to disruption. And at the scale that the tech guys are at now, they have to take some responsibility. Now, Apple, in this case, I think, is nowhere near the worst offender. In fact, they've been doing really good things, for example, stopping autoplay in the operating system, which is a direct shot at this very issue. They did that without any public pressure at all. So I actually think, yes, Apple has responsibility, but they're one of the good guys in our scenario. And you know, I look at this, we're, we've been working with Common Sense Media, which is the NGO that does children and media. And so we've been trying to figure out who are the best and worst players. And again, Apple can be really helpful and they are being helpful. I'd love to see them do more, but I don't think they're the they're the one we should be worried about. So then why would Jana Partners and Calisters be targeting Apple, Apple and not, say, Facebook, which has obviously been a big focus? If they would take my phone call, I would ask them that very question. Because with the hedge fund, they don't, it, it's hard to see in their background that they're very focused on public interest issues. They've been historically an activist shareholder trying to get higher stock price. I don't see what the connection is between this and that. For Cal Sturz, which is the California State Teacher Retirement System, they have, I think, a very direct reason to be interested in this. They represent school teachers throughout yeah. the state, and uh, and children are their are their business. And so I would hope that they're that they're going to be persistently on this, and I hope they will not stop at Apple because, as I say, I don't think Apple is the most guilty player. Yeah, Scott, let, let me let's take it back to how how liable do you think Apple should be for an issue like this? How, to what degree do they deserve to be a target? Oh, this is overdue. If you had Nestle producing an ice cream that resulted, studies showed, made teenagers more depressed or even more likely to suicide, we wouldn't be seating the CEO of Dryers next to the president at meetings. The lack of regulation here around some very serious issues only validates the notion that big tech gets the mother of all hall passes and isn't subject to the same scrutiny as the rest of corporate America. All right, so uh, the mother of all, I think you've used that before, the mother of all hall passes. What needs to change? Well, A, they, again, the same scrutiny. Where are the, there are, if you want to produce a popsicle uh, to give to kids, you have to go through all sorts of labeling and testing. What kind of testing, what kind of warning labels are on Instagram? Anyone with young boys at home is, as, as we have, knows that literally interrupting a seven-year-old boy's um, interaction with an iPad is, is something akin to taking the crack pipe away from the lips of an addict and the, uh. and the emotion and the reaction it inspires. So this is, this is a real issue, and for some reason we don't feel a need or haven't so far felt the need to place any sort of regulation or warning labels on these devices or on social media platforms. So this is, in a word, overdue. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.